What's up YouTube and welcome to Desi Dad Reviews. In today's video I'll show you why you should buy a Jellycomb Bluetooth keyboard over an Apple Magic keyboard. Let's get started. This is a Jellycomb Bluetooth keyboard, and when they designed the product packaging, they definitely went the minimalist route. I mean, there's no branding on the top, no model number, no compatibility logos that are typically around here. Legit, there's nothing there. Just a photo of the keyboard on a white background. Even on the borders, there's just the company name, Jellycomb, and that's it. Flipping it over to the back, it's not much different. Some minor branding here in the corner, and they decided to go aesthetic on this one and give you the nice angled look. What held me up though wasn't their packaging. I mean, maybe their philosophy was the fact that they have all of the product details on the website, so you really didn't need any additional information on the box. That's okay, I'll let that slide. What held me up though was the company name, Jellycomb. I mean, what is a Jellycomb? Is it a comb made out of jelly? Is it a comb that you use for jelly? Is it just a comb and jelly? The world will never know. But on the flip side, that's excellent marketing because you can't get that name out of your head now, can you? Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the company name. Anyways, let's get back to the unboxing. Opening it up is just like you would any other keyboard box. You pull a bottom flap out from the middle and lift it over the top, like so. Inside you'll find the keyboard neatly wrapped in plastic, which is pretty nice because the packaging isn't quite sealed, so you get some nice dust protection. You also get a user manual and some jellycomb paraphernalia, but you won't need either of those. So let me take this keyboard out of the box so you can see what else you get in the package. As soon as you take the keyboard out of the box, you'll also find the charging cable. The charging cable is a micro USB to USB type A, so you will need a USB plug to get this charged up and ready to go. Let's start with the design of the keyboard. You'll know this is an Apple compatible product with the command keys on either side of the spacebar. You have a traditional layout with the keyboard and some specialty keys going across the top. When it comes to the overall fit and finish, the top is a nice dark gray, almost identical to the Apple Space Gray colorway. The keyboard has a nice weight to it and feels pretty sturdy in the hand. The keys are smaller and have a short travel way, so if you prefer the traditional Mac keyboards, this will give you a very similar experience. They also don't have too much key noise, so if that old school keyboard of yours is driving you crazy, you're going to be alright with this one. I also like that it comes with a key cover. It helps preserve the keys themselves and makes the keyboard even quieter in use. The charging port is here on the right side, but this should easily last you through a workday, if not multiple workdays, before a recharge. Flipping it over to the back, the back isn't anything specific, but I do like the fact that it's an unpainted black plastic, so you don't have to worry about a painted finish wearing off. What I didn't like about the keyboard's fit and finish though, was that the edges are a touch sharp, and the power toggle is not as tactile or user friendly as it could be. Addressing these two issues would lead to a much nicer fit and finish with a more upscale feel. So why would you want to purchase this over the Apple Magic Keyboard? Well, I think there are three main reasons why you should consider it. The first major selling point of the Jellycomb Bluetooth keyboard is the inclusion of a number pad. So a lot of keyboards at this price point typically don't include a number pad with the keyboard, and this particular one does. So for those of you that actually do a lot of number crunching, spreadsheet work, or any kind of budgeting at all, it's going to be a welcome inclusion on the keyboard. And for those of you that don't do any of those functions, the fact that it's there, it's not going to bother you, and you never know when it might come in handy. The second major selling point of this keyboard is the multi-device Bluetooth switch. Here, let me show you what I mean. Up top here are three buttons, Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2, and Bluetooth 3. Now say you've got three different devices, a MacBook, an iPad, and an iPhone. Those are three different devices that you're doing something completely different on. On the MacBook, you're probably doing something productive or work from home tasks. On the iPad, you're watching a Daisy Dad tech review Thank you guys so much for watching. And on the iPhone, you're doing some chatting and you might be doing some application work. All three of those can be controlled with this keyboard using that Bluetooth switch. As long as you set up each of the different devices on its own Bluetooth channel, you can seamlessly switch between any of those three devices by choosing the appropriate Bluetooth channel. 
This will not only help speed up your workflow, but if you're a content creator or you're somebody that multitasks on multiple devices at the same time, this is going to make your life a lot easier. The third major selling point of this keyboard is the selling point itself. This keyboard retails for $49 US dollars. Now compared to an Apple Magic keyboard, the standard base price is $99 US dollars. Upgrading that to the one that has a number pad included on it is $149 US dollars. And if you want to get the special one that has the magnets and the ability to tilt your iPad at different angles, inclusive with the keyboard, that's $299 US dollars. So ladies and gentlemen, that's $300 you will never get back by purchasing that product. Let me save you some money. First, purchase this keyboard. Second, purchase an iPhone stand. And third, purchase an iPad stand or a folio case that allows the same functionality of tilting your screen. All of those products will cost you under 100 US dollars and the extra $200 savings you have, go spend it on something you actually enjoy. Now Jellycomb sells a wide variety of products that all essentially look the same. This particular keyboard is only compatible within the Apple ecosystem, so that means Mac OS and iOS. If you're interested in that or you use those ecosystems frequently, check out the link in the description for this particular keyboard. However, I do know that there is an audience out there that is interested in the same exact product, but more compatible with Android or Windows. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I've also linked that keyboard in the description below. It looks exactly the same, has the same features, and has that multi-device Bluetooth switch that this keyboard does. Be sure to check the links in the description below for the latest pricing information, because these keyboards do go on sale quite a few times during the year. And thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more tech reviews by DC Dad Reviews, check out this playlist right here, or check out this video that YouTube recommends you watch next. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on this button to help support the channel and show me some love. Until next time, this is Daisy Dad Reviews, signing out.